Hello, in this video I want to show you the few tricks or tips you can use on a POCO M5. So we can start with a display section of this phone. Now open the settings and navigate to the display. And right here we can change a few settings which are not enabled by default. And the first one being a dark mode. So if you enter it, as you can see your phone turns uh, much darker and it's more pleasant for the eye and also drains less battery you can uh, also schedule dark mode for a specific time of the day so for example from sunset to sunrise and that means when uh, it's night your phone will enter the dark mode and when it's uh, day uh, in uh, sunlight it will enter the light mode you can also go for the custom and that way you can still adjust the specific hours for that. Another thing while we are we're in a display, we can move on to the refresh rate and here by default it's set to the standard 60. You can increase it to 90 and that way as you can see your screen make is much more smoother but it drains uh, more battery so be careful with that setting if you are using a lot of this device. And now the next, we're gonna check the um, notification and control panel. Right here, if we go for a control center style, it's this uh, toolbar right here, as well as notification bar. Uh, so if you want all of this in one place, like on older devices, you can use the older version. In the default, it's set to the new version. So let's change it. And now if we scroll down our toolbar, we can see all of the notification panel shortcuts as well as, not as, well as notifications and uh, without it we need to go for uh, notification panel shortcuts separately and notifications also separately. Next is a notification shade and right here uh, by default it's set to Android. You can use MIUI M -I -U -I version which is a which shows more detailed icons and uh, changes the shade a bit. And as you can see right now, if we're in the MIUI version, it shows the exact icons of the apps. And if we're in Android version, it modifies the app icons. Now let's move on to our um, special features on this device. And right here we can find the game Turbo. Now if you enter it, it makes a sound which is a bit annoying in my opinion, but uh, that's opinion. And now here we can uh, play some games in increased performance. So if you're playing games or just want to watch something on the Netflix in this example, you can use this mode and it should uh, make it less laggy. And uh, you can of course go for the settings right here to adjust the game turbo. Uh, and it's not for games only, just uh, makes uh, some apps run faster. As it enters performance mode, when uh, you use the app that you've added to it, it optimizes them and also enables the uh, game D&D, that's do not disturb mode, which you can adjust. So if you enter enhanced experience, you can turn off uh, specific things for it and additional settings. Here you can see all the games or apps you've added. And uh, if you want to add any app, you can of course click on this plus button. Here you can see all of the apps that you can add. So for example, let's go with a Genshin Impact right here. And now it's added and if we run this game, it should start with this performance mode. You can also see the CPU usage. And uh, that's basically all of the tips I can give you for this device, which I found most useful. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.